Hi, I'm Laura Vega. I'm a respiratory and physical therapist and a PhD student at the University of Bologna. Today, I want you to introduce Aero ICU Max Plus, a medical mesh nebulizer that is a great option for doing aerosol during NIV or high flow therapy. This mesh nebulizer turns the medication into tiny particles from one to five microns, which helps the medication reach deep into the lungs for an effective treatment during high flow nasal cannula or mechanical ventilation. This is really important in patients that cannot stop the non-invasive respiratory support but must do aerosols. Air mesh inside the medication cap is a polymeric diaphragm that makes the nebulization safe and with a high drug delivery rate. Using Aero ICU Max Plus is really simple. For example, if we are under NIV, you connect this medication cap to this connector. Then you will connect all this into the sensor, flow sensor, and all this into the inspiratory limb before the Y. So you don't need to worry about leaving this even when not doing the aerosol because this counts as compressible volume and not instrumental dead space. The only thing you need to do is make sure that the ventilator knows this compressible volume. So before starting NIV, you need to do the circuit recognition test with this, with the air ICU inside the circuit. Then you will connect these cables into the plugs, dedicated plugs. Like this. And all this goes to an intelligent control that allows you to start and stop the therapy and select the mode and the dur duration. When selecting When selecting breath sensing mode, this mode can increase the efficiency and the absorption rate of eye antibiotics. And this um, technology is only available in the IR ICU series in the industry. In my practice, mesh nebulizers are a good tool or a good option for treating COPD patients under mechanical ventilation. First, because you are not adding an additional flow to the system. I mean, with conventional jet nebulizers, uh, an additional flow is uh, added to the system because jet nebulizers are activated by flow, usually compressed air. In, that, in this case, mesh nebulizer is just activated by this cable and not by flow. Additional and continuous flows coming from the jet nebulizers can alter NIV monitoring and tidal volumes, and it's not recommended to use um, jet nebulizers under NIV. So in that case, patients need to stop the therapy, stop NIV, and start doing the aerosol, and, just, and, and only when he finishes the aerosol, the NIV can be reconnected. Uh, with the um, IRO ICU, patient can continue an IV uh, at the same time doing the aerosol. So this is really important or useful when you have a COPD patient, exacerbated patient, because sometimes it's not possible to stop an IV to do the aerosol, but you need to do both both things at the same time. So I find the I find this especially with mesh nebulizer, really useful during NIV. Um, another thing is that uh, the ROICU, this sensor, this uh, flow sensor permits to deliver drugs synchronized 
with the inspiration performing better and avoiding was wasting drugs and also with mesh nebulizers you won't find residual volume so you don't you don't need to add um, physiologic, physiologic solution to dilute the medication just put pour the medication um, alone and that's it on the other hand when doing high field therapy it's even more simple i do it this way this is the dedicated connector for the for the high flow therapy device i connect the medication cap into this hole and then the cable this cable is a simple cable since we are not using the flow sensor and these two connect it to the intelligent control and that's it Hi, so now we are with Elisa, a gangiectasic patient. She, a patient. she has acid treatment NIV and during the breaks off she uses high field therapy. So now Elisa is going to do her medication, her bronchodilator medication. Um, I have done uh, the circuit recognition test, so I can leave this uh, in the inspiratory limb. I pour the medication liquid into the medication cup. I will start the RSU Max Plus. I will set the mode, sensing mode, the time. And I will start the aerosol. So as you can see, it is synchronized with the inspiratory time, with the inspiration of the patient. Another thing I want to show you is that if you open this, I will stop this pause. If you open the medication cap, you don't have leakage, air leakage. This is really important so as to prevent our contamination. You can open, there is no leakage in, this, in the circuit. Okay. Now I will power off the therapy. So I'll show, show you how Elisa does the bronchodilator also with high flow therapy. You just need to take the medication cup, put it in the dedicated circuit of the high flow therapy, pour the medication into the medication cup and start the therapy. Here you can see tiny particles that are produced by the IRCU Max Plus. As you can see, it's really, really, really simple to start the aerosol and to do uh, NIV as well as high flow therapy, and you don't need to stop especially NIV when doing the aerosol. This is for me the highlight of this IRCU the plus. But, and last, I want to show you um, another nice feature that offers ARICU, in my opinion, is that the possibility to download this iBreath app in which automatically recognize the device you are using so as to guide the therapy through your phone you can select the modality, continue of breath sensing uh, mode. I will select breath sensing mode, the velocity also, the time of duration of the treatment. I will select 90 minutes. And automatically when you start, start the therapy.
then if you want to stop it you stop it by your phone and it's okay everything is really really easy to do the aerosol with air icu max pro bye bye